it's evening. It's going on seven o'clock. I'm here in the airplanes. We have an air show in the area. And so there's been airplanes going and going and going. I definitely got some sun, not today, but the other day. I just finished my Zazen. I got my lavender bath. The only thing I didn't do today in my non-negotiables is I didn't do my exercises. There's the plane going over. I have some water going. I already had a coffee. It is Saturday evening. I just finished my book, Zen Sex. That is done. That one is done. Um, I did my Duolingo for Sky. I got all three of his quests done. And so that's uh, three more towards his badge. I think I'm at 29 towards his badge, 29 out of 50. Uh, I did my laundry this morning. I got some mail that I needed, so that's good. I was able to cross a few things off my list. Um, I got one of my credit cards. You know how like they're gonna expire and they send you a new one. So I got my new one, did an activation. Um, got my trash all outside. I went out for a little bit, had some lunch and a coffee with my old friend. Um, very grateful, sweet person. We did a lot of talking about life. I read some more of The Original Frontier. Uh, I wanna do a special thank you. She didn't say I couldn't, so I wanna thank Karen, my friend Karen, my sweet friend Karen, for this beautiful book, Embracing Joy in His Presence, Jesus Always, um, 365 Devotions, so you read one each day. I read today's. And I'll read this every day. So I want to thank Karen for sending this came in today's mail. And I love it. I love it. I'm always open to new things and learning and all that. Um, what do I need to tell you? I miss Sky so bad. Um, I don't feel well today. My heart has been giving me a lot of skips and rapid heart rate um, episodes. I don't know what's going on. I got to get it figured out. Um, I've been under more stress today. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I am still keeping no contact with my son. So this is three full days and a part day, which is unheard of. Um, I'll go into that in the next in my next video. I'm doing the ABCs of self-love. I talked about this. Today's is the letter D. And you might want to do this with me. The letter D is for dreaming. And so they're asking us to pick a time of the day. I'm picking 6 p.m. because it's probably what I'll remember the best. And they're saying take 15 minutes and write down dreams. Things that you dream that you want to do. Places you dream you want to go. Things that you dream you want to see. Anything that you can just dream about that you'd like to experience and write it down. Um, 15 minutes is a pretty long time each day. So I put mine down to five minutes and um, got a little piece of paper and wrote down some dreams. And I will share my dreams and if you'd like to do this with me, I would love that. And if you would want to share what your dreams are each day, I would love that too. I'm going to try to do this daily. Um, I have kind of like a list now of what I do each day. One is sitting Zazen, which is meditation. One is my lavender bath. And one is exercise. I did not exercise today. I just didn't feel well. Um, the other one is reading each day. I read something each day. I'll be doing the daily devotionals. I'll add that um, to, uh, to my morning. I do Sky's Duolingo each morning. And so that's um, a daily thing. And uh, so, and now my ABCs of self-love um, each morning. 
So today what I wrote for dreams is um, going to the beach, going to the ocean, putting my feet in the sand, feeling the water coming up over my feet, collecting some seashells, watching a sunset, going horseback riding, feeling the strength of that animal, just getting in that saddle and, and just riding. It's been years. Um, seeing a rainbow. I'm just dreaming of seeing a rainbow, just looking and absorbing and loving and just being amazed at rainbows. And someday finding a mate, someone that will love me. It's a dream for down the road, a bit down the road, but that's a dream. Um, I want you to check out a video. I want you to go to um, Living with Dementia. Uh, his name is Jason. His wife is Leslie and she has a charming abode. I talked about Jason and Leslie often. He is, I believe he's 50 years old now and he has early onset dementia. And it is quite um, a brave story of a man and a wife, husband and wife, who are opening up about this horrible disease. Uh, uh, Jason asked to put a video up. Leslie filmed him and he's talking about the great fade, F-A-D-E, where his friends are fading out of his life. You have to watch the video. Um, this happens. I know people who, when they've lost a spouse, the friends disappear because they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They're afraid of including the solo person for fear that that solo person might feel out of place or the people inviting might feel out of place if it's three couples and then a solo. Um, watch the video. It's so worth it. Um, it's such a teacher. And uh, so living with dementia... Um, for, if you just want something fun and cool, watch Montana Dana. I just love watching Montana Dana. I check her videos out every day. Uh, I slept really well last night, but I haven't felt well at all today. I've had a really rough day. Um, one thing that I did do that is a positive is I cleaned out my refrigerator I got rid of the junk food and I needed to get rid of the junk food because what happened, what I realized I'm, I've been doing is one, I have been comfort eating things like cookies and pastries. I like, I need that sweet stuff, you know, and, um, and I have to break that cycle because that's not healthy. And two is some of the foods that I've been picking at the store are the easy throw in the microwave junk food with a lot of fillers and not great things. So I typically can pride myself on really healthy eating and that's what I'm getting back to. So I have my water, I have um, watermelon, I have grapes, I have an orange, I have um, uh, strawberries, I have chicken, I have eggs, I have cheese sticks, and I need to get some yogurt. And um, I want to get like edamame. And I want to get some um, some flax seeds. And what's the other seed I get? Flax seed and... I'm drawing a blank, but I'll remember it. Um, and... Um, I want to get some raisins. I'm going to get some prunes. Um, I will only be eating chicken. I will not get any more beef. And I, um, I, I'm, I have an allergy to most fish. Uh, the only thing that I can really eat are scallops and they're pretty expensive, but, um, time to change up the eating habits. Um, I have my milk, um, but I'm going to switch over to almond milk from, um, whole milk and it's just time to get back on track. You know, 
I realized I was like, oh, I'm just going to throw this in a microwave. I'm just going to make a hot dog. I'm just, you know, that's not great for me long term. So cleaned out the junk, got rid of the potato chips, broke my heart, but got rid of the potato chips. And um, time to get back to the healthy eating, more water, um, because there are days I have slacked with my water. And because I'm taking care of my body, my outer body, I'm doing my zazen, I'm doing my walking, or um, uh, my exercise with Leslie, and I'm doing good there. But I realized with the e eating, it wasn't so great. So let's get back on track with that. And um, I want to get to Aldi and see what they have in like blueberries. And I want to get mini peppers and some cucumbers and you know, things like that. And they seem to have the best prices. So, uh, that I realized today. So yeah, missing sky, like horribly missing sky. Um, I did, like I said, I got out for a little bit today for about two hours. A lot of talk with my friend who's in his eighties about life and love and just, um, moving forward with my life and what do I want and what's next for me. Um, tomorrow is Sunday. So this coming Tuesday will be 15 weeks since I lost Sky, And I have the two grief groups this coming in week, which I'll decide on the day of. The day of, I will decide on if I'm going to um, attend either one. Uh, I probably will do the phone one. I don't know if I'll do the in-person uh, because I've got to make that drive. But we'll just see how I feel. On, I believe that's Monday. We'll see how I feel on Monday. So I'm doing the best I can do. Um, there is a very deep loneliness in me today. Uh, I expect that to happen. I know that's going to happen. I I'm trying to adjust day by day. Just uh, adjust. Um, my goals for tomorrow is definitely is get my walk in because I did not do that today. Um, get out in the sun for a little while, uh, and, uh, maybe 30 minutes in the sun. I'll do my Zazen, get my lavender bath, do my reading, those things. And, uh, I will, I don't know. Oh, I know what I did today. I moved Sky's books from the one the one wall that I had them on over to where the windows are in the living room, where the plant stand is. I moved the bookcases over there. Um, and then I took the TV out of my bedroom and I put the TV back in the living room um, on some you know, some of those crates that I have. So the TV is no longer in my bedroom. If I'm going to watch TV, it's going to be in the living room. And then I kind of like reorganized my tables here. So that I did this morning. It was like, okay, let's do this. Um, if I would ever have company over I and we want to watch a movie, it's not going to be in my bedroom. It's going to be in the living room. So um, that was my motivational force to get the TV into the living room. And so I got that done. So, you know, every day I'm, I'm thinking of things. What do I need to do? What do I need to clean up? What do I need to fix? What do I need? And in some days there's just nothing. I just drift and that's okay too. Um, and I realized that when Sky was alive, I had days where I just drifted. Yeah. A lot of these feelings that I have are not new. They're not new to Sky's death. I've had days when he was alive where I didn't feel well. There were days when he was alive where I was sad and I cried. There were days when he was alive 
and we were in a great place in our relationship and I was in a depression. There were days when he was alive where I wondered what my future was. I'm like a lot of what I'm feeling is not new to him dying. It's life. And so uh I'm living life the best way I know how. So I want to thank everybody who's reached out to me. I've had a couple people reach out to me and I'm reaching back um, because I want to, it's so important to form these bonds with folks. Um, I'm really, really blessed. I'm just, I think you guys are so cool to be here with me and hang out with me and go through this with me. Um, if people are in relationships long enough, well, it doesn't even matter. You don't even have to be in a relationship with a partner. But at some point, you're going to experience a loss, whether it's a parent, a child, a sibling, a dog, a cat, you know, a best friend, a partner, you're going to experience loss. And you're going to go through the steps that I'm going through now, the stages, the feelings. So we're, we're all going to experience this. This is not unique to me. We all are going to have our turn. And some people have multiple turns. Some people lose Five people in a year's time I've heard I've heard of. I've heard of people who've lost three people at once. I've heard of someone who lost a whole family, their whole family um, at once. Um, the, the family dog dies, and then the next week the family cat dies. It's like we're all going to experience this at some point because that's life, and with life comes death. So I'm doing the best I can do. I'm going to go, I'm going to refresh my water because it's getting warm. I'm going to maybe make another coffee, I'm not sure. And I'm going to do a little bit more reading. And then I'm just going to kind of call it a night because I just have a lot rolling around in my head. And um, I just feel like I got to figure out how to get a little more peaceful up here. Um, my friend talked to me today about meeting someone new, adding someone into my life. And I said, like, how, like, how am I ever going to do that? Because I don't go anywhere. I, I go to the grocery store. I go to the doctor. I don't belong to groups. I don't go into bars. I don't go into clubs. I don't, you know, I don't go to any meetup groups. I I don't know people, you know, local here to me. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't, there's nobody I could go out with to even have the chance of meeting someone. I'm on no dating apps. Um, I'm not on Facebook dating. I'm not, because he suggested that. He said, what about Facebook dating? And I'm like, no, I've heard horror stories, horror stories. Um, but I also have heard horror stories with dating apps. So I don't know that I'm ever going to be able to meet anyone. Honestly, because I talk to no one. I don't belong to a church. Um, none of the neighbors talk to anyone here. Like everybody just stays secluded. There's just, there's just no way for me to even meet someone when I get to that point, you know. Um... If I meet someone from in my future, it's going to be a real fluke thing. Absolutely. It's going to it's going to be somebody who knows somebody. But it's not going to be me just bumping into someone, I don't think. I don't know. I guess that's a sadness too where I'm like, gosh, I'm going to be alone the rest of my life. And I really don't want to be. I don't want to be. That's just not me. Um, I was so grateful the time I had with Sky. Because he taught me how precious everything is. And, you know, I'd like to share the remainder of my life with someone. I'd like to have someone get to know who I am and and hang out with me and, and have fun and do things and love and laugh. And, you know, I'd like all that again at some point. But... Never know what's going to happen in the future. So I'm going to go. I'm going to add some ice to my water. I might make a coffee. We'll see. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Think about doing that dream thing with me. Um, take five minutes. Get a piece of paper. Write down your dreams. 
What do you dream to do? And then if you want to throw something in the comments and tell me about your dreams, I would love that. What would what what do you dream about? What would you dream to do? To see, to go, you know? Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.